Paul, I'm Paul Curran, and I'm the director of Samson and Delilah here at Virginia Opera. What was my inspiration for this production? Um, the music itself, really, and the story, that here is a biblical story or part of a biblical story that actually has enormous resonance today, I think, in a story that's about let's say, the, the sexual tensions of a male-female relationship with the story of a downtrodden people that are being persecuted through a religious war. So the inspiration really came from what this, uh, the enslavement of the Hebrews that I felt was very much in parallel with what's going on in the world today. So what we were looking for when we, when we started doing this was an era that would make sense to people today that felt slightly historical, but didn't feel like it was in a museum, didn't feel like it was so far away that you didn't care what happened to these people. So our inspiration very much was the, let's say, middle Europe of the 1930s and what was going on there with the Nazi party and with the rise of right wing, as was called national socialism, and how they were so intolerant and just persecuted one group after another. That was very much the inspiration. The most dramatic part of the production? Oh, I don't know, because I don't see the production. I, I can't view it like that as the director, um, because I'm, it's very hard. I mean, it's, it's like saying, what's the best part of your kid? All of my kids, the best part, right? It's a great kid. So I don't know. It's very hard for me to say. I think it's for other people to judge. What I do do, though, is I hope I try and pinpoint for people moments that resonate like the crowd scene at the beginning where the whole chorus is being persecuted by uh, a Bielemech who's like the local governor and he and soldiers and he's a horrible violent vicious character um, and he has people beat up and he also a attacks a child in this well look around today in the world that's happening everywhere from Sir Syria to Alabama to you name it everywhere Britain the lot France that's something that I would say we try and highlight as a parallel to our world today. Uh, Michael Chioldi as the high priest, um, Ruben Casas as Abiramek, and then our two uh, main roles, the Samson and Delilah, uh, uh, Derek Taylor and uh, Catherine Goldner, they both sing in Europe and in America. They, it's one of those balances where I guess Samson and Delilah are supposed to be like teenagers or, or you know, they're supposed to be 20 years old or something. Forget that can't happen. <laughs> Not an opera because you need the voice, you need maturity. It's the Juliet thing, right? Juliet's supposed to be 14, but you can't cast a 14-year-old. So we have two experienced singers who play young on stage and who are wonderfully engaging and fantastic actors as well as singers because for this role, if it doesn't play like a movie, if it doesn't play, like I keep saying to them, think HBO, this is HBO, think like Game of Thrones, then it doesn't make any sense to them. So opera, opera was, for those that don't know, opera was the beginning of the movies because opera is where movie directors at the beginning of Hollywood took their inspiration. How you have a story that's being told and you underscore it with music. When was the last movie you saw that didn't have music? I can tell you, zero they don't exist. So what this is, is this is a drama story that is emotionally charged with music. For that, we need a phenomenal cast that knows the music and knows how to do that, but also plays as actors. And I'm very lucky that we have that here. 